Hello, this is Mike from computer-advisor.com again. Um, this time I'm just going to be looking at a quick way to diagnose and maybe repair any hardware problems you may have with your laptop. Uh, in this particular instance I've got my trusty Dell Latitude um, which seems to have a problem with the hard drive. So if I go to switch it on, what you'll see is happening is goes past the, the initial Dell screen, takes me up to the last Windows menu, so I'll say start Windows normally, which I've tried quite a few times. Now what it does is everything looks pretty good, it looks like it's about to boot, you know, Windows has started to load, all of a sudden, bang, it's just restarted again. <clears throat> this seems to be, this, this is a, a loop, it keeps on happening again and again and again, so I'm not going to bother trying anymore. So anyway, one quick way to actually diagnose or pinpoint the, the root of this particular problem is to power on your Dell laptop. Hit the F12 key as you power on. And what you'll get is, you'll get a little boot menu. From the little boot menu, you can see that. If you scroll down using the arrow keys on the keyboard here and go down to the diagnostic option, if you select that, it will start running through all of the all of its diagnostics, checking all of the particular hardware to see if there are any particular problems which are causing it to, to fail to boot. And the diagnostics generally they can take between about 10 and maybe 15 minutes or so. Oh, that's much quicker than that. If you look closely at the screen, you'll actually see that it's actually telling me that there is a hard drive error. This particular type of error means that the hard drive has failed completely and needs to be replaced. As you can see, it literally took me, I'll just stop that. It literally took me about five minutes to actually diagnose that there was a problem, a hardware problem with the system. Um, you know, anyone can literally do this. Very, very straightforward. Once you've done that, then your only course of action is to replace the hard drive. Um, in this particular instance, I've already tried to get the data off of it, um, having no such luck at all. But luckily, I've got a backup of everything, so I'm, I'm not too fussed about losing that. So if I power off the, the laptop again... Then I flip it over onto its back. And you get yourself a little screwdriver. The hard drive on these really is a one-handed job, as you can see from here. Take out the other screw as well. Screw to pop out. And pop out the hard drive. As you can see, it really is as easy as that. As you can see, I've just done this test using a, a faulty drive. Now it's just a question of just replacing the drive and popping it back in again. Very, very, very straightforward. And as soon as you've done that, it's just a question of popping in your, your Windows CD or DVD and booting off of that again by hitting that F12 key as you switch the laptop on, selecting Windows, selecting the CD or DVD as the boot option, and then you can just go through and reinstall the whole of Windows again. And there you go, and you've pretty much you fixed your, um, your your laptop. You know, very very easy to do. Uh, all I would recommend is if you're gonna if you've got a hard drive fault, it might be worth upgrading to something a little bit better. In this instance, I chose to upgrade to an Intel solid state drive. It's got no no moving parts and. It's much, much faster than these older spindle type hard drives. Anyway, I'll be doing a few more videos in the future. Keep a lookout. This is Mike from computer-advisor.com. Speak to you soon.